This video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the October 2023 release. The full list of features can be found in the October 2023 version 20.23.10 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month we're highlighting the following features. In Brightspace Editor, users can now set the directionality for all text on a page when adding attributes. In Data Hub, new columns are available in Checklist Tool datasets as part of BDS improvements for October. In the new Content Experience, or Lessons, instructors can now add and manage release conditions and apply standards from the Create and Edit pages of all activity types. And finally, a summary of changes made for all other features. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. To help users set the directionality of all text on a page when creating content or widgets, the Brightspace Editor Page Attributes tab now includes a new text direction drop-down menu that allows users to set all text on a page as default, left to right, or right to left. Previously, it was only possible to set the text direction attribute on selected items. From Brightspace Editor, select Other Insert Options, and then Attributes. Select the Page Attributes tab, and under Text Direction, select a preferred text direction from the drop-down menu. Select Create to apply. This feature is available to all clients, is automatically enabled, and is not dependent on any configuration variables or permissions. To help users better understand deletions and changes in checklist tool datasets, this feature adds the following new columns to Brightspace data sets. The date deleted, deleted by, and version columns to the Checklist Item Details BDS. The date deleted, deleted by, and version columns to the Checklist Category Details BDS. This release also changes the existing LTI Link ID column and the LTI Launches BDS to Can Be Null. Previously, this column was not nullable. Note that for all the above datasets, date deleted and deleted by only include data from October 2023 onward, and that the version column is fully populated with historical data. This feature is available to all clients. To enable, ensure the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level and the d2l.tools.brightspace.datasets.version configuration variable is set to version 8. Note that the new and changed datasets appear the first time the dataset runs after the version update. The ability to add release conditions and standards from the Create and Edit pages of the new content experience, Lessons, is now available for all content types, including content files, such as HTML, PDF, audio, and video, as well as web links, LTI links, LOR, and SCORM objects. This change aligns with how release conditions are managed in assignments, quizzes, and discussions. It also aligns with how standards are managed in assignments and discussions. Note that the name of the standards tool and some menu items and links therein depend on the language term you have defined in the d2l.languages.terminology.learningoutcomes configuration variable. Based on that setting, the standards button might be labeled competencies, expectations, objectives, or learning outcomes. In this example, assume the configuration variable is set to standards. To add a release condition from lessons, select create new and choose what you would like to create. Under availability dates and conditions, select add release condition. Select Create New or Add Existing. To add a standard from Lessons, select Create New and choose what you'd like to create. Select Standards, choose the standards to associate, and then select Save. This feature is available to all clients currently using the new content experience or Lessons. To enable for release conditions, Ensure the Attach, Remove, Release Conditions on Modules and Topics permission is granted to instructors. The Standards functionality is automatically enabled for all users of the Standards tool. This feature is also available when editing existing content activities in the new content experience or lessons. Finally, let's take a look at the other features for this month's release. API, Automatic Update of Scopes for Registered Apps, Data Hub, 
Outcomes Course Specific Scales Brightspace Data Set, and Insights Report Builder, End of Adoption Period for Brightspace Data Set's Major Version 8. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full list of details of this month's changes in the October 2023 version 20.23.10 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. See you next month!